Welcome to Scientists on the Spot of Cardiovascular Research on Life and the Scientists of Tomorrow. My name is Niels Frog from Göttingen University in Germany and I have with me today Dr. Yunishi Zadashima from Rutgers, New Jersey Medical School. Dr. Zadashima, thank you very much for taking this interview and welcome. Ah, thank you for having me. Dr. Tadashima, your research is mainly focused on autophagy. Could you please introduce to us what is autophagy and what role does it play in cardiovascular diseases? Ah, yes, the autophagy is a cellular mechanism of degradation by lysosome mm -hmm. and which is uh, characterized by uh, presence of the double membrane vesicle mm -hmm. uh, termed uh, autophagosome mm -hmm. and which has a large capacity so that uh, the, it can degrade uh, uh, protein and organelles mm -hmm. uh, and uh, including uh, mitochondria, ER and even uh, lipid droplet. Mm -hmm. And in cardiovascular disease, uh, the autophagy has very complex role, but in general it is protective, mm -hmm. but it is activated uh, sometimes uh, excessively and in that case it, it can be uh, detri detrimental. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're coordinating a LeDuc uh -huh. network on autophagy. So could you please explain us what are the major goals of this network and what most important output you reached so far? Ah, yes. So uh, our network uh, tried to elucidate the role of autophagy in various uh, cardiovascular conditions. Mm -hmm. And uh, so far uh, we found that uh, the some of the intervention uh, small molecules mm -hmm. uh, can actually uh, treat uh, cardiovascular disease. Mm -hmm. And one example is uh, the uh, we study uh, the small molecule uh, which has a similar function as the calorie restriction. So mm -hmm. we call it the ca the cal uh, calorie rest restriction mimetic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you give this uh, small molecule uh, to the animal, uh, it can uh, not only uh, pr prevent aging mm -hmm. and uh, prolong lifespan, mm -hmm. but it can uh, stimulate autophagy in the heart mm -hmm. and it can uh, prevent uh, uh, cardiac dysfunction during aging and also prevent uh, the ischemic uh, uh, injury mm -hmm. in the heart. So it's very, very promising. So you mentioned already the um, interventions in animals, but what possibilities do we already have to modulate autophagy in patients? Yeah, uh, we believe that uh, autophagy is probably uh, activated not enough mm -hmm. uh, in uh, failing heart mm -hmm. and also uh, uh, probably uh, diabetic uh, cardiomyopathy condition as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, we believe that uh, uh, activating autophagy uh, in a uh, uh, heart failure patient mm -hmm. uh, actually uh, improve the mitochondria function and uh, also remove uh, the uh, damage the proteins mm -hmm. so that it can overall improve the cardio cardiomyocyte function and uh, improve uh, heart failure condition. Mm -hmm. So, Dr. Zadoshima, you are very successful since many years oh. in basic research. Could you please oh, give you. us some insight? Where do you find all your ideas and inspiration for your research? Ah, thank you. I uh, like to go to meeting, mm -hmm. and especially uh, the, the, in my case, I very frequently go to uh, basic science mm -hmm. uh, meeting. Not only cardiovascular meeting, but also uh, the uh, hardcore basic mm -hmm. science mm -hmm. meeting. Mm -hmm. And uh, by doing so, uh, I, I could uh, catch up, you know, to what's going on in the field. Mm -hmm. And also, I, I get to know people in uh, uh, truly uh, hardcore uh, basic scientists. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, can, I can get good idea mm -hmm. and also uh, get support, uh, help. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, they often provide me uh, reagent and uh, precious mouse models so that I can always get a good idea about going to the meeting. <laughs> thank you. Dr. Zadoshima, thank you very much for taking part in this interview. And I would like to also thank our audience for watching this podcast. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.